What is the dark web? The term dark web refers to encrypted online content that is not indexed by conventional search engines. Accessing the dark web can only be done using specific browsers, such as Tor browser. There is a great deal of privacy and anonymity that comes with using the dark web compared to traditional websites. As such, most of the attention is placed on online marketplaces for drugs, exchanges for stolen data, and other illegal activities when people think of the dark web. Despite this, there are often very legitimate reasons why people choose to use the dark web, including political dissidents and people who want to keep certain information private. Understanding the Dark Web As its name implies, the Dark Web is a secret network that exists underground. It's made up of a series of websites that are hidden from the general public. This means they aren't accessible through traditional search engines, such as Google. Traditional search engines return results because they contain indexes of links to websites. These are ranked based on keywords and relevancy. The Dark Web, on the other hand, uses information that isn't available on these other search engines, such as content from individual accounts, such as email, social media, banking, along with personal and professional databases, and documents, legal and medical. Deep Web versus Dark Web, what's the difference? The terms Deep Web and Dark Web are sometimes used interchangeably, but they are not the same. Deep Web refers to anything on the internet that is not indexed, therefore, accessible via a search engine like Google. Deep Web content includes anything behind a paywall or requires sign-in credentials. It also includes any content that its owners have blocked web crawlers from indexing. Medical records, fee-based content, membership websites, and confidential corporate web pages are just a few examples of what makes up the Deep Web. Estimates place the size of the deep web at between 96% and 99% of the internet. Only a tiny portion of the internet is accessible through a standard web browser generally known as the clear web. The dark web is a subset of the deep web that is intentionally hidden, requiring a specific browser is tour to access, no one really knows the size of the dark web, but most estimates put it at around 5% of the total internet. Again. Not all the dark web is used for illicit purposes despite its ominous sounding name. History of the Dark Web The dark web first officially appeared in the early 2000s along with the creation of Freenet, which was developed by Ian Clark to secure users against government intervention and cyber attacks. The system, which is still available today, allows users to express themselves freely without being tracked online. The U.S. Naval Research Laboratory funded a project called the Onion Router, TOR. TOR offered intelligence sources a way to communicate easily and safely, especially in hostile areas where personal safety is key. It is now one of the most common browsers used to access the dark web, using databases to help people make their way around and find the information they need. The rise of cryptocurrencies increased the popularity of the dark web, especially for cyber criminals. That's because digital currencies often provide a great deal of anonymity for people who buy and sell on the dark web. Because of its association with certain illicit activities, there have been calls for regulation of the dark web. For instance, the G20 and the Financial Action Task Force FATF, have both called for cryptocurrency companies to provide information on buyers and sellers in transactions conducted online. This is especially true, they say, to help law enforcement track criminal organizations and illicit activities. What's for sale on the dark web? The dark web has flourished thanks to Bitcoin, the cryptocurrency that enables two parties to conduct a trusted transaction without knowing each other's identity. Bitcoin has been a major factor in the growth of the dark web, and the dark web has been a big factor in the growth of Bitcoin. Nearly all dark web commerce sites conduct transactions in Bitcoin or some variant, but that doesn't mean it's safe to do business there. The inherent anonymity of the place attracts scammers and thieves, but what do you expect when buying guns or drugs is your objective? Dark web commerce sites have the same features as any e-retail operation, including ratings and reviews, shopping carts and forums, but there are important differences. One is quality control. 
When both buyers and sellers are anonymous, the credibility of any rating system is dubious. Ratings are easily manipulated, and even sellers with long track records have been known to suddenly disappear with their customers' crypto coins, only to set up shop later under a different alias. Most e-commerce providers offer some kind of escrow service that keeps customer funds on hold until the product has been delivered. However, in the event of a dispute don't expect service with a smile. It's pretty much up to the buyer and the seller to duke it out. Every communication is encrypted, so even the simplest transaction requires a PGP key. Even completing a transaction is no guarantee that the goods will arrive. Many need to cross international borders, and customs officials are cracking down on suspicious packages. The dark web news site Deep. Web teams with stories of buyers who have been arrested or jailed for attempted purchases. Is the dark web illegal? We don't want to leave you with the impression that everything on the dark web is nefarious or illegal. The Tor network began as an anonymous communications channel, and it still serves a valuable purpose in helping people communicate in environments that are hostile to free speech. A lot of people use it in countries where there's eavesdropping or where internet access is criminalized, TK said. If you want to learn all about privacy protection or cryptocurrency, the dark web has plenty to offer. There are a variety of private and encrypted email services, instructions for installing an anonymous operating system and advanced tips for the privacy conscious. There's also material that you wouldn't be surprised to find on the public web, such as links to full text editions of hard-to-find books, collections of political news from mainstream websites and a guide to the steam tunnels under the Virginia Tech campus. You can conduct discussions about current events anonymously on Intel Exchange. There are several whistleblower sites, including a dark web version of WikiLeaks. Pirate Bay, a BitTorrent site that law enforcement officials have repeatedly shut down, is alive and well there. Even Facebook has a dark web presence. There's also plenty of practical value for some organizations. Law enforcement agencies keep an ear to the ground on the dark web looking for stolen data from recent security breaches that might lead to a trail to the perpetrators. Many mainstream media organizations monitor whistleblower sites looking for news. Advantages and Disadvantages of the Dark Web Advantages The dark web helps people to maintain privacy and freely express their views. Privacy is essential for many innocent people terrorized by stalkers and other criminals. The increasing tendency of potential employers to track posts on social media can also make it difficult to engage in honest discussions publicly. Finally, the popularity of the dark web with criminals makes it a perfect way for undercover police officers to communicate. Disadvantages Some people will inevitably abuse the power associated with using the dark web by making it easier to engage in criminal activity. For example, the combination of the dark web and cryptocurrencies theoretically makes it much easier to hire someone to commit certain crimes. While the dark web promises privacy to its users, it can also be used to violate the privacy of others. Private photos, medical records, and financial information have all been stolen and shared on the dark web. Thank you for watching.